Hey friends, I'm here in front of the station house. A cool place downtown St. Pete. You go in here and do work. And got like offices you can rent. Pretty posh, I say. But for people like me, we just go in and get a coffee, mask up. I remembered. Do some work. I'm gonna edit here today. I'll come here maybe once a week or so. Spots were taken, so I'm gonna wait until one with the power post is available. Nice place to work, huh? Apparently, it was a bank this past life. Spot. Station House has these cool old photos from the olden days of St. Petersburg. Shop in downtown. One of my favorite things to do is find new places, especially in my own town. And this place behind me, the tavern, I've never even heard of it before. It's right downtown St. Pete, and it's totally hidden, for me at least, until today. Let's go check it out. I hear the grouper sandwich is really good. grouper sandwich since I hear that's what's hot on the streets here. I can't believe I haven't found this place before now. They are awesome. I, uh, I'm really impressed. This place is good stuff. They're going to bring some beer out here. Oh, look. My table has been chosen. the crispy grouper sandwich I hear it's the best thing they got look at this thing man it reminds me of the pork tenderloins at the ox roast in West Jefferson <laughs> it's almost as big maybe maybe half or three quarters the size but it's still look how big it is awesome. it's good by itself but so you can get your own condiments here good by itself for sure I mean no problem but since I you know saw the condiments I'm a sucker for condiments it comes with tartar sauce but I don't like mayonnaise so weird thing you know I don't like mayonnaise but I love blue cheese dressing okay it's no secret it's bread with some kind of a cereal or something but the bread only would let me eat half the sandwich so I got all this left we're gonna have to take it home with me I'm sitting here with Dennis of the Tavern at Bayboro. I mean, I cannot believe that I have not been to this place or even heard about it before. I feel like I found this gem in St. Pete. That was, I had the grouper sandwich, the, the crispy grouper sandwich. That was the best grouper sandwich I've ever had in my lifetime. There's a lot of grouper around here. How did you do this, man? There had to have been some kind of I suspect some kind of cereal or something on there, but the, that breading was amazing. What are it's uh, the crunchy group. Well, first of all, if you're going to make a fish sandwich, you have to use fresh fish. There's a lot of restaurants that'll tell you that you're getting a grouper sandwich, and it could be tilapia out of the freezer, but depending on what they put on it, it might be a good sandwich, well, but it's well. not fresh grouper. So you got to start with fresh fish, but the way the crunchy grouper is done is it's breaded with cornflakes and almonds. The cornflakes are scrunched up and crushed. Some of the almonds are kind of broken on there. You use an egg wash, a little bit of flour with some seasoning in it, go back and forth. And your last step really is to press that piece of fish into the into the cornflakes and almonds. And then you deep fry. The other part of that sandwich is it's served on a, a homemade rosemary herb roll. So and you I, make that here? I make the herb rolls here every day. Yeah. So. In Why did big, I not know about this place? And they're, they're, they're in this big fat 
50s mixer that my buddy Tom left me with. And, and it, it's freaking great, man, but it's, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of a process. It takes about an hour, an hour and a half to make it. We'll do like seven trays of bread. It takes about an hour and a half. Well, you can but taste the love in it. Huh? You can taste the love in oh, the bread. Oh, there's love in the bread, for hey, sure. It's all, it's so yeah. Good. Now, yeah, and, and there's even more love in it now because since my wife and I took the place over uh, about a year and a half ago, my brother already worked here, my daughter already worked here, and then my, my wife and I decided to take it over, so we've got more of a family affair, and we, we have an incredible amount of fun working here. Like, I've worked in a lot of restaurants in my life, but, you know, getting away from that for years and saying I'll never work in a restaurant again, yeah. it's not the same. We have so much fun here. Some of the stuff I can say on camera and some of the stuff I can't. But just good old, you know, good old classic hanging with the family fun, you know, just good times. So, but yeah, we, we've got, we do grouper several dis different ways. We get crunchy grouper, we have a buffalo grouper, which is just a grouper sandwich, but with our homemade buffalo sauce, so Cook Chubby makes it. Um, we have a, a grilled grouper, blackened grouper. We have one called a journalist which is mushrooms, onion, and, and Swiss oh, I love uh, on, on there, all served on the same roll. And then we have one which is interesting called The Adventurer, which is in the St. Saint, Saint Pete Cookbook, which I'll give you a copy of before oh, you cool. leave. Um, I didn't even know there was such a thing. Yeah, The, the Adventurer is um, seaweed salad on top of the grouper with a little cucumber wasabi dressing on the top. And then it's served on top of with the homemade rosemary herbal, herb roll, lettuce, tomato, you know, pickle on the side and all that stuff. Man. It's fantastic. It's good stuff. Hey, I kind of want to see this mixer. You want to see the mixer? Yeah. All right, I'll show you the mixer. All right. Let's take a look at this thing. Let's, let's take a look at it. Upstairs is half of our prep area. The downstairs is the other half of our prep area. This is the 50s mixer right here. Oh, so cool. this is literally probably from 1952, whatever. But you can see it's it's a process. You know, you gotta put your little spindle on there. And then I gotta show you this bowl. This is how old this bowl is. The bowl is so old, there's actually a crack in the metal. You might not be able to see it on camera. There's a little okay. crack yeah, in the yeah. metal. So basically, this is our mixer. Pop the spindle in there. You have to bang it into place with your hands which is a workout and when it's running it sounds like you know you just turned on the AC in your building but when we're done mixing it it goes in there for like 12 minutes stays on the mixer and then we take it off and we hand roll every single every single roll we used to have this in the prep kitchen but the problem with that was we needed more room for the bread proofer because it's got to go from here into the bread proofer until the rolls rise a little bit and then downstairs into the oven so cool. we get a good workout coming up and down the stairs every day. We eat a lot of food here, but uh, you also get a lot of exercise coming up and down these stairs. It's no joke. I feel like I'm getting uh, serious backstage. Oh, and I love the Buckeyes. My, uh, my, my oh stepbrother my made gosh. that for my older brother out of pieces of his fence from his backyard. That's no joke. <laughs> he said, I tore down a fence in my yard, and I'm making your brother an Ohio State sign. And then he goes... My, my, my sister-in-law said, well, you're not keeping that in our house. You can put it in the garage. And he said, can I bring it to the tavern? And I was like, yeah, I'm right. You can. That uh, Gibson Explorer on the wall right there, Yeah. that is my guitar since ninth grade. It's a 1978 Gibson Explorer right there. Right. And we've got a collection of cool stuff. This is a sailfish that a couple of our regular open mic nighters uh, brought here. Uh, and they caught that. They actually caught that fish sometime in the late 90s. What's up, buddy? How are you? Check this out. See Pete Beats book. Right here on page 49. The grouper sandwich. Check that out. Though I think the one you made me was better was looking. Crunchy. Yeah, it was it was better looking than this one. The crunchy always comes out bigger because it's smashed into the cornflakes. Oh. Actually the other fish sandwiches you get more grouper per ounce. Not that that's a bad thing because crunchy is crunchy. Either way, you're getting a fantastic sandwich. So that was you don't so lose, good. You know, it's good stuff. Dennis, Pat, Pat, yep. are you responsible for making that grouper sandwich that I had earlier? All I did was drop it in the deep fryer. Man, well, whatever you, your All magic. All Pat does is drop stuff in the deep fryer. That's his <laughs> only job. <laughs> <laughs> well, these guys were. How they started here was playing music at this place and then took it over a couple years ago. Am I right? Yep. 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 Yeah. It's really rad. Thanks for showing me around here. Yeah, man. Thank it's you. It's really cool. Glad I'm so by. glad I found this nugget of a place 
in St. Pete. I had no idea. Awesome. Yeah. So wait, when's when is open mic night? Open mic is every Wednesday, seven uh, six thirty to nine thirty. Facebook page. You got, we got, we got you can find us on Facebook, uh, the Tavern at Baybro. Um, you can find us on Instagram, the Tavern at Baybro, and the website is tavernatbaybro.com. Find us on Google. You can find us here at the Tavern. Either Pat or I will be here to assist you. That's, That's right. most suggested. <laughs> <laughs> Come on down to the Tavern, man. Yeah, you you won't be upset. Well, thanks. Good grouper. Yeah. Two dollar Bud Lights. Oh my gosh, yeah, the Good two dollar Bud Lights. Great place. Come down here and check this out. Guys, hit like, subscribe, hit that bell notification button so you don't miss any of these videos ever again. And come to this tavern as soon as you can. See you later. See you in the next video. Thanks, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you're welcome. Absolutely. Well, this is a really awesome place to find. He gave me this book, the St. Pete Eats book. Definitely going to check this out. Although I can't make too much on the sailboat, I will find a place to make something in here maybe even try to make that grouper sandwich thanks for joining friends i'll catch you in the next video